<laughs> hey everyone, it's Azora Hype here and Hi, it's Gemma in Dallas. Yay! Citadel of Hype Podcast live? Are we live? Are we live? Gemma. Ugh. Sorry, I know. I need to see my laptop. That's I got my mouse here and I'm trying to move. Like, I don't have enough pinky room so I can see you guys in the live chat and stuff like that. She, oh, pinky room. So, <laughs> anyways, everyone, cheers to you in the live chat. We are okay. super excited to be here in Dallas. And I hope that all of you are hype and loving in the chat. They are. They really, really are. We are super we, We've been chatting for about an hour now in the live chat, haven't we? We uh, actually, <laughs> if some of you might have checked out our last video, we were, we, the cleaning lady was in the background. We were listening to some <laughs> Queen and then some Pink Floyd, and, and uh, we were having a blast. But welcome, everyone. This is a live version of the Silda Pipe podcast. We're live where? Dallas. <laughs> for what? Con of Thrones, 2019. So we're pretty excited about that. We got some really exciting news for you about the weekend, of course. Um, you know, uh, Gemma's here with her laptop, so she's going to be able to re reply to your questions. But, but basically, this is a free for all. Uh, me and Gemma are together for the first time. Not for the first time. First time we met yesterday. But the first time together doing this live. So you can ask your questions today, and we're going to hang out and have a blast. And yeah, so basically, it's kind of a free for all. So if you want to talk about Con of Thrones, you have a Con of Thrones question, go ahead. You want to talk about Game of Thrones season eight? Go ahead. Marvel Avengers Infinity War. This is a free for all Q and A live stream. Um, Robbie Adams says it's awesome to see y'all together without any lag. Uh, a few people have commented as well how cool it is to see me not purple. It's <laughs> nice outside. I am my normal color, which is nice. I, I'm not like Thanos is strange dog anymore. <laughs> Thanos. <laughs> No, it's it's great great to be here. I'm still I'm not gonna lie. I'm still a little bit jet lagged. It, it was a long long journey. Um, lots of numb backsides sat on the plane. The biggest one was an eight hour stint. That was hard going. I watched Black Panther, Doctor Strange, and Thor Ragnarok on the plane, which was awesome. But yeah, great to see everyone. Um, in the chat, do you want to read out some of these names? Yeah, so we got Ashley Marie, graphics by Kathy, Great Dane, Robbie Adams, Sunshine Roth, William Rice, Sammy Sand, Nigel England, Mia Eisenfire, Tal Mascadan, hashtag Sansa Forever, uh, The Prince That Wasn't Promised, Jared Sutton, Amy True, Linda R., Jaja Girl, still in recovery from Infinity War. You saw it Sunday, wow. Yeah, it was a really good movie. Tarnia Haliti. We have Miss Cherim, Carrot Cake, Sydney K, Goretti. We have uh, three designer. We have a Jormungand. Jormungander. Uh, oh, who do we have in chat there? Karen, Sugar Mummer of Hype. The Iron Bank of Hype. Uh, we have Mary Jade Skywalker, Starwalker, Heart Lady. Don't get it wrong, Kyle. Pablo Alvest, Alvestegui. I hope I'm saying that okay. Amanda D. and Clavo. Michael Smith from Australia. John St. Baptiste, hashtag Sansa Forever. <laughs> Debbie, G's name taken. Chris Nolan starting that donation train. Um, donation train today, Gemma. What? <laughs> oh, do we have, yeah, and this, Kyle will confirm, this does have vodka in it, doesn't it? You guys are ready? <laughs> I can't even say that even choose. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> That's um, actually pretty good, Corona and and hypnotic at the same time. <laughs> that she doesn't have just coke in her drink, everyone. Uh, we're missing some people in the live chat, but we're we're gonna start and you know. We are. Um, my mom, Alger, Amanda D. Nigel England. I just want to say yes. I've seen Deadpool two, and so is Kyle. It was brilliant. I thought it was the funniest movie I seen in the last it, ten it years. It was so good. Super super so bad. Good. Still takes the cake for me because it's such a unique movie for me. But Deadpool is just that. End credit scene, that final end credit. I won't give it away, obviously, oh. but it was hands down the best. The cameo was amazing. The best end credit scene of any Marvel film. I've Ghouls ever are people watched. too. Is uh, is Paris? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Paris. Yeah. Paris. She she actually designed uh, the the Citadel of Hype caricatures. If you've ever seen that. Um, G's name taken. Enjoyed Deadpool too as well. Black. Oh yeah, Preston Blackfire song. Uh, he changed his name. Blackfire, a song of pipe. I love that. Angel Johnson, Wesley Mons. Everybody seems to be like extra excited today, which makes me happy. Um, Alvestegui. Okay, Alvestegui. Pablo Alvestegui. I will try my best. Chris Nola. 
Um, are you guys are you guys coming up to Con of Thrones this weekend? Anybody in the live chat coming up to Con of Thrones this weekend? Are we oh are we hitting that hundred viewer high? Oh, 98. My singing brought it down, everyone. <laughs> savage, <laughs> savage. Um yeah, we're really happy that you're all here. Our friend George is flying in tonight. Of course, some of you know George, a member of our Hype and Love family. Uh, we're going to go see Solo later tonight. And then, of course, we got a 100 viewer hype. Oh, get hype. Um, but yeah, we got, a, we got a lot to do this weekend. Gemma, what, what do you kind of like? What's your impression of Dallas so far? Um, the people here are super, super polite and nice, right? Yeah, the people are, are so nice. And as soon as they hear me talk, and obviously they caught the English accent, they're just all over me. Uh, they're, they're so friendly. Oh, we got a donation. Sweet. John St. Baptiste, cheers. Mm. My overwhelming feeling about Dallas is it's beautiful, but it's, I nearly swore, not allowed. Demonetization. <laughs> Demonetization. It's oh, hot. Talamaska Dan. Talamaska Dan, cheers. Oh, no, I'm going to be wasted. <laughs> Take a proper sip there, Gemma. No, man. <laughs> Milking it like a baby's this bottle. Is to tip the doorman to say Odor every time you pass. I will also raise a glass to R.I.P. Kyle's beard. I, I know a lot of you are missing the beard, but let's be honest, I look pretty sexy without it. Um, <laughs> Lawrence Corner's in the chat too. She's awesome. Hi, 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 Lawrence Corner. She can't Lawrence even talk. Corner. She's taking two <laughs> sips of vodka. Oh, I'm I jet -lagged. Lagged, heat stroked, and Getting a little bit tipsy. So oh, oh shit, tell him that's good. <laughs> um, I have to go to sleep. Me too. <laughs> Gemma is beautiful. Oh, thank you so much. Diet Coke could also be drunk. Yes, it can. Let's see all of these. Oh god! Oh jeez! It's now starting, Gemma. I think that's well. That was a double at the same time. Shoshana Shnedvsky. Sho, 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 Shoshana Shnedvsky. So I'll have a big one. We'll have a big one. I'm drinking. Yeah, pished. That's how the Scottish people say pissed. <laughs> Talamasca, Dan. This is gonna be bad. Okay. <laughs> Talamasca, Dan's gonna be skinned by the end. <laughs> Oh, oh my god, I don't Gemma, this is a problem. Everyone in chat, what are you most excited for for Game of Thrones season eight? Let's start there. Oh, we got original David Adams in the chat. Where? Oh, there he is. Oh, yeah, it's, he's changed his name. It's OTDA. Christina so, Schlegel. I will yeah. raise a glass to you, Christina. You guys are going to get wasted. Yeah, and thank you, guys. Yeah, I think you've probably noticed there's a few trolls in the chat right now just being, I can't swear, demonetization. But you know what I'd like to say? Why don't you suggest some names that I'm not allowed to say because I'm not allowed to swear in the chat for us, and we'll just read them. But yeah, no, do appreciate that people, uh, moderators in the chat are on that. It's, uh, you're always going to get that. Uh, you know, you know, uh, we got we got another donation, John St. Matisse, Lafroig, Lafroig, that's that's a scotch. I've actually had it before. It's got a really nice smoky note. Let's drink to that. <laughs> Cheers, Gemma. Yes. Um, but, you know, it all, st let's, let's start with the story of how me and Gemma met. Funny enough, at one point I actually had more subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> at one point I actually had more subscribers than, uh, than Gemma, uh, believe it or not. And Gemma, Gemma was asking about how to do a banner on YouTube. And I made her one. And when we, when we just started chatting, we, we started talking about like conspiracy theories and aliens and the universe and life and stuff like that. And of course, Game of Thrones, obviously. Uh, but that's kind of like the origin story of me and Gemma is, is we, we chatted. Uh, she was doing YouTube just starting out. Mm -hmm. And she like, I'm going to have to go look back at your early, early videos. Just like, oh, they're terrible. Yeah, same with they're mine. so bad. I, I, I go back and I look and I'm like, oh my God, that video is so bad. Yeah, I think we've both come a long way. Haven't yeah. we? I mean, I was, and I swear, I'm not even kidding, I was using Windows Media. <laughs> so was I. It was just like the worst part. You can't even like cut, you can't even like split anything. So when, when, you're, when you're editing a video, like, yeah, like I, I use a program that has a magnetic timeline, which is one yeah, timeline. So, 
uh, like I use Final Cut Pro on my Mac, and then I use uh, Wondershare Filmora on my my Windows computer. And it's one timeline, but you can like pay, copy and paste stuff in and out. Uh, but the other programs, you got to kind of layer everything. Yeah. And Windows Media Maker can't do either of those. No. This is really awesome. No, no. Windows Movie Maker, it was just obviously, it was, I mean, they don't even have it anymore, but it was the free software. But yeah, we, we both upgraded since then. And uh, yeah. Um, oh, thank you, Jojo Lady J. Your early videos are not that bad. I'd like to think that the content was always as researched as I'm used to, but the production. <laughs> Cheers. We got another donation here uh, from Shoshana. Answer that question in just a second. What does the Night King really want? But there's two questions I saw in the chat. Will you be streaming your panels on posting? Uh, we won't be streaming them live because we no, can't do we're that. Not we're not allowed to do that. But we will be all of our panels will I, I will be recording everything <laughs> more donations you guys are nuts we they will be going up on the channel everyone um also we got confirmation news uh we did we, we don't get to interview everybody this weekend that's not kind of how conventions work but uh we, we do get to go to interview shay shay she's uh, a 10 on 10 uh 10 minute one-on-one -on -one interview really excited for that then we also got um Roz, Esme Bianca, mm -hmm. she's beautiful and amazing. And then we also got Miltos Yorolemu, who plays Serial Pharrell. And yeah. then we have a conference one with Paula Fairfield, and she's the sound designer for Game of Thrones. She makes all the sounds for Dragons, White Walkers, The Wall Falling. Really, she's she's kind of like me a little bit. She's hyped. She's really hyped about her job. Really, really into everything she does. Every little small intricacy, um, and and how it affects us as fans. So really excited about that. Um, but that's some, that, that's what we got this weekend. We're and you know we're really really excited about that, and you guys are gonna get that check, to check that out because I asked them and they're allowing us to film that for you guys, yeah, which is huge. So uh, they they allowed that request. So thank you so much, Con of Thrones and Mischief Management for allowing that this for you guys, and uh, and we're really excited for that. Um, Mia Ice and Fire, I will absolutely one hundred percent anytime you want. Call me at three a.m. I will help you with YouTube. Okay, we, we got to scroll down a little bit because we missed a bunch. Yeah, I'd just quickly like to say thank you to some, I mean, obviously, thank you to everyone in the chat because basically, if it wasn't for your super chat and, and just your support, you know, you know, even if you're not able to financially donate any money, just sharing and liking the videos has helped revenue and what have you, and, and, and it's certainly boosted my channel and basically got me here. Um, getting from England to Dallas for, you know, it's it's not a cheap <laughs> business. Um, so, you know, I, I would specifically like to say thank you to the the hundreds of people that donated to, but I can't do everybody. It, it's too many names, but I'll just quickly go through a few if that's all right. Yeah. Um, Carol Brown. Um, Carol who, Brown. going to be here soon. She actually was going to try, she was actually going to, we, we, we were going to allow one guest to view us live in her hotel room. She's not here yet. Uh, she's done a lot personally for me and Gemma she, behind yeah. the scenes. She or uh, organized some stuff down here because uh, me and Gemma were pretty busy trying to still create content for Clown Thrones and stuff like that. Um, but, you know, Carol Brown, one of the MVPs for Absolutely. sure. Absolutely. I've got John Petrie. Christina John Petrie. He's on my list too. Yeah. Christina Schlegel. Sh Christina Schlegel, yeah. <laughs> Christine Ho. Uh, Karen Richmond, obviously. I'm going to stop you right there, Karen. You are one of my five favorite people in the community. I love you. We, we, guys, can in, in the live chat, I know there's 126 of you watching. I want every single one of you to do hype and love emojis, heart and fire emojis for Karen. The Iron Bank of Pipe. You guys don't even know what she did for me and Gemma. We're talking like, we're talking like a lot. A lot. She did a lot for us. So. Um, Shannon Heinemann, Rod Seagull. Jonathan Liebman. Jonathan Liebman is Mr. Skillen from the chat. Yeah, Tina, Sarah. Um, I, I've got another Karen Richmond again because her name's come. I'm just reading. You've got a load of Yeah, names. I got a list here, There's everyone. There's so many more. Karen, I'm sorry, I can't. Karen Richmond. Many. Karen Richmond. Helen. Helen from the live chat. Make Jin Grant again. Crips of Winterfell. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Klaus yeah. Richter. Brittany Bethea, Christina Schlegel, Catherine Bassett, Nancy Talkstein. She's going to be here with her husband this weekend. Catherine Bassett, John Petrie. I believe that's John from the Super Chess that's been making the donation train rain. Uh, Holly Cooper, uh, Jonathan Liebman again, Preston, uh, Blackfire, uh, A Song of Hype in the chat. Tina Sarah, Rebecca 
uh, Kali, Becky Underwood, James Tucky from my hometown of Sault Ste. Marie, Christine uh, Katrin C., uh, Patrick Corbin, Mary Wells, Jess, Jess Globes, Lynn Beatty, Mia Vice and Fire, Kelly Bradley Dobbs, Pamela Columbus, Tiziana, Crow Food's daughter, William Rice. And William that's just Rice. William, like, guys, there's we have another three pages here. Um, we're gonna get to we more. We could shows. literally spend the next hour just oh. listing off names. There's so many of you guys, and and just thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, because this is literally like a trip of a lifetime for me. You know, it's not every day I get to. Uh, we were just talking to Ray's the album before the chat. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna do Con of Thrones next year. Ray's is gonna come up. Mm -hmm. uh, but but guys, you know, I'm from Canada. Gemma's from UK. You know, all of your donations, um, all of your support. Whether you like the video, whether you commented, yeah. whether you subscribed to a channel, whether you just joined us in the live chat, whether you commented in the live chat or not, or you just watched us and you didn't comment. All of that means everything to us. The GoFundMe and the Patreon supporters, of course, you went extra and above and beyond to help us out. Super duper, we appreciate that. We love that. Of course, like uh, Gemma. Gemma's a little bit bigger than that. She's, got, she's a superstar. She's famous, 75,000 subscribers almost. Uh, but, you know, that kind of support really means a lot. You know, obviously, Game of Thrones, YouTube, um, it, it can be difficult sometimes because we're yeah. talking about the same yeah. subjects, and yeah. there's a lot of great YouTubers out there. You know, I, just off the top of my head, Aziz from History of Western, mm -hmm. Smokescreen, um, you know, uh, the Great Area. The Great Area. There's Talking Thrones. Who's yeah. killing it? Tony Tap One. Um, there, who, who we just literally met in the bar. No, we, we met which Tony. Is crazy. Tony Tap One. We had a beer with Tony yeah, Tap One yeah, earlier yeah, downstairs. Yeah. So, uh, but like literally, the community, the, the community, the Game of Thrones community, Song of Ice and Fire community, like. Uh, people have just started rolling in to come to Call of Thrones, but really, honestly, like, the, the, the thing about Game of Thrones is it talks about so many dark subjects, but there's so many cool and, and uh, humble people in the community. So um, we wanted to make sure that we took our time before we got into the questions and answers for you guys. I really have to pee because I've been drinking all day. Um, but uh, we really wanted to thank you guys. People want to see a close-up of your shirt, Azara Hyde. So it's got um it's got tigers on it, it's got uh it's got that paisley you know like yeah, a me yeah. Mexican bandana on it. Yeah, it's from Hollister. It's from Hollister. It's really nice. It's really soft cotton. Um, yeah, it's really nice. Uh, and I don't know. I I just I just like pattern shirts. I got another I got another one from Hollister. It's got flowers on it, and in the sun it turns from white to pink. Gemma thinks that was too loud. Um, <laughs> But, but seriously, everyone, once again, uh, we're going to thank you guys all throughout the live chat tonight. I'm going to go for a pee and let Gemma take over, but sincerely, uh, you guys are the best. I'll be right back. Right, okay, so I need to have a look at who's talking in the chat. Thank you for all the emojis. Um, Heart Lady, it's really good to see you. I know, obviously, it, I'm not sure. It must be about 6 a.m., 7 a.m. for you. Um, it is currently 20 past five in the evening Dallas time. So five, so it's about 20 past 11 UK time. Um, Gemma put salt in his drink. <laughs> I, I, I would if there, if there was some salt handy. He's still not forgiving me for waking him up at six o'clock this morning. I was still on UK time and I was like, Morning. <laughs> okay, 4 p.m. here. Okay, so it's 20 past 10. Do you know, I, I literally, I went to Amsterdam first, which was an hour ahead. And then I went to Minneapolis, and then I went to Dallas. So I've just crossed so many time zones, and I literally don't know what day it is at the moment. So yeah, it's 10.30 in the UK. Thank you for that. Thank you, Shannon. Um, it's my birthday in two days. On Saturday, it's my birthday. Um, stay hydrated, Canada and UK. Texas weather is no joke. No, you're not kidding. You're not the kidding. The Texas weather is ridiculously hot. We, I melted earlier. We, we both, we both, <laughs> we're both, we both ginger. We're both from very, very cold countries. Gemma, we got to answer this question though. We, we, we. Um, Unfortunately, I got to go to work. We're going to answer Shoshana's question. Oh, we do have to have a. Uh, thanks again for the donate. What does the Night King want? I think that he wants to be released from his form of what we call it's, it's not really living. Yeah, I think he wants a, a replacement. I think he wants to retire. And in brands, the retirement? No job. 
close enough. Um, but I think I think the night. I mean, living for eight thousand years with all of your loved ones dead that would be pretty shitty. Yeah. Um, I often think about this. Death kind of sucks for everyone because I think uh, Jesse knows might be onto something. He just wants a hug. Maybe just wants a hug. you can hug me, Gemma. Gemma, Gemma, you can hug me. Okay, Gemma, Gemma, hug me. Gemma, hug me. Um, a bomb of us. A bomb. Will, will, will. Um, oh, Gemma, Amy, too. Gemma, have you decided how you're waking Kyle up tomorrow? Yes, I'm going to ask him if he wants to build a snowman. Do you want? No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> oh, we got we got Helen in the chat. Awesome. I wish we had a wall of uh, wall of hype in here. Tiffany Burgos, Gemma. My birthday is on Sunday, Gemini Power. That's why I'm called Gemma because I'm a Gemini. I was actually born three months premature, and my mom's like this weird, crazy hippie person, and she basically decided that I was determined to be a Gemini, so she called me Gemma. So that's I'm Gemma the Gemini, and that's what these uh, my my twins. Gemma's birthday is on Saturday, everyone. Can we get some hype and love for that? Yeah, for my name day. She's turning like 347,000 years old. She's from the Jurassic Age. Um, <laughs> oh, the happy birthday. It's so lovely. <laughs> um, Peter the Noble is going to be here in uh, Con of Thrones uh, in a little bit. We're going to meet up with him. Kyle's from America. Um, I'm actually from Lauren, Canada. PM me when I get back from uh, from Dallas, and we'll, we'll sort that. Shout out, out to the person, <laughs> David Adams. A shout out to the person watching this but not chatting. The ch the live chat is moving so fast. It is. It really is. I'm <coughs> kind of I'm kind of looking at it on two laptops right now. So you'll have to bear with me as I salty can... dodge or doggy. I uh, love this series. So what we're gonna do is we've been chatting out and talking and just like being being kind of silly. Let's actually, Jamal, let's talk some theories. Let's talk about some of our panels this weekend. Do we want to start off with our first panel tomorrow? Um, like Bob, uh, Lord of Light. The well. Lord of Light. The, the Warrior yeah. of Light. The Warrior of Light. Yes, we're going to be talking about Azora High or potential theories of who Azora High may or may not be and what we think of that. So, and we're doing that with LML, Lucifer Means Lightbringer, which is gonna be awesome. Yeah, we're really excited about that. Lucifer Means Lightbringer is gonna be moderating the panel. So me and Gemma are kind of just gonna try to go along with LML. He absolutely crushes it on every video he makes. Um, yeah, we, we, we kind of have some contrasting thoughts as always. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we were actually talking about the word Lightbringer earlier. Yes, what, we what, what, what that means. Uh, if you take the word Lightbringer, I think it means illumination and enlightenment, meaning a realization. Mm -hmm. I don't think Lightbringer is actually a sword. I think Lightbringer is, or Azor High, uh, the Azor High moment when they're, the Azor High reborn moment is actually a moment in each person's story arc where they have to make a decision that um, you know uh, illuminates the kind of the final path for them in their story arc, right? Yeah, I'd love to hear in the chat. Like, if you think, I mean, ultimately, we, and we've said this before in our live streams, haven't we? That we don't believe Azor High is one person. We believe that many people within this story have the opportunity to have their kind of Azor High moment. And whether they choose to step up at that moment or not is is a question of personality. Um, but if you if like, you you're talking about to, Davos tomorrow, and I'm talking about Jamie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, but if you were to call it, you know, for argument's sake, let's say that it did turn out to be a person, which we don't think it will be. But let's just, you know, let's say who would you call? Because you're talking about Jamie. LML. Well, I mean, we're all talking about we're all talking about John and Daenerys. John and Daenerys. That's yeah. I mean. Ice and fire. They are they are the, the the two main candidates for that. Yeah. So you and then once we've discussed obviously the main candidates, Danny and John, then um, we're going to move on to more of those sort of left field candidates. So you're talking about Jamie, um, and I'm talking about Davos, not necessarily being Azor High, but maybe being Lightbringer. Uh, being being instrumental in the transformation yeah. of John becoming uh, Azor High. Yeah, um, Ty Cat Lannister's just said everybody has an Azor High arc, and and that's exactly where we're coming from, really, isn't it? That's that's well, we're, a few you know, suggestions. Well, well, the, the hero's journey. We're not going to we're going to talk about that later in the weekend. But you know, the three act structure that uh, Joseph Campbell, the Campbellian myth that we see within the hero with a thousand faces theory. You know, we see the story within the story of Christ, Jesus Christ, yeah. Buddha. Um, obviously, the story of Osiris in Egypt. Um, Luke Skywalker. Luke Skywalker. Black Panther. Neo from the Matrix. Neo from the Matrix. All, all, all of them have similar 
beginnings. They like, I mean, Luke Skywalker starts out uh, on Tatooine. He's drinking mm -hmm. blue milk. <laughs> right, but, but, you Why know, did they put that scene in? I'm, but, no but, spoilers. But, 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 but you know, all, all, all stories have the beginning, middle, and end. And that's kind of where the Azor High. I mean, you, you talk about the forging of Lightbringer, you know, uh, the, the three different moments of Azor High, um, these realizations, these life changing moments that cause um, them to go into their, their final decision making process of what they're really going to going to become as a person, right? There's a few questions coming in the chat. Yeah. Um, John Mungand, will John ever be called Aegon? That's a really good question. I can't see it. John's John. John's John. John's. Do you think John's going to survive the story? No. I, I do. And I think by the end of the story, I think uh, one thing that I absolutely love about Song of Ice and Fire is that Ned's word from the grave holds so much weight. Like yeah. he, even though, he, like, and in the show as well, even though he hasn't been around and he sucked at playing the Game of Thrones, he's still influencing the story in his kids. Absolutely, uh, and yeah. and and they and they still hold the values of Ned. And I think by the end of the story, if if John were to have the option of have being Aegon, I, I think he's going to be John Stark. If he survives the story, his name is going to be okay. John so Stark. so if I, I, yeah. I you know, think John, that's a possibility? Yeah. If he ha if he was going to go for a name change, maybe he would adopt Stark. But I'm drinking John Corona Snow Esther. Snow. John Snow is John Snow, but he's John. Yeah. Ned Ned was his true father, and I think that that's part of the story that they're trying to get us. It's it's such a it's such a tragic moment, right? Because Ned sacrificed so much. He even lied to his own wife, someone he loved very much, and obviously he loved Lily Anna. Like they they were like. They were best pals, you know. Um, they 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 cared for each other very much, and I think at the end of the story, John, like you know, when Benjamin tells uh, John in the show, you, you know, you gotta, you don't know what you would be missing. You have something to live for. When you want to get married and have kids, like in this universe, I think you know the most powerful thing is love, and that's kind of the message that George is trying to create within the story, even though it's kind of sappy. But no, John, yeah, yeah. But but John has had a very tough life. And being a bastard, he hasn't had the same amount of love as everyone else. So for him to realize he was more loved than he could have ever imagined is something that is like, wow. That that, that appreciation for Ned, and, and and that's why Ned is, you know, Sandor is always going to be my favorite character. But Ned is like right there. He's really close. Have you got a link, Thomas Gudan? Feel free to put it into the chat for, for Chris's YouTube. Yeah, Chrissy of Olson, you let me know what your YouTube channel is. I'll edit the video description after and I'll put the link in there so everyone can find it. Sickers of the Citadel, is this your first time in the States? How do you like it so far? No, it's not. Um, I've been to Las Vegas before, which was wild, absolutely wild. Um, so yeah, I, I, I know, I, I've been before, it's been a, a few years, but I, I love it. It's, um, I think it's, it's, it's fun because like, you know, obviously we have so much American culture on television and what have you in England. And, and it becomes a bit of a myth. Like earlier on, we went to the liquor store, like in England, that's, that's hilarious. We don't have liquor stores. By the way, the prices there were absurd. There was, there was a bottle of tequila, um, Don Julio, which is a really good tequila. There was a bottle of tequila that would be considered $200 for 50 bucks. Yeah. Yeah. It was like floor to ceiling. It was crazy, but yeah, like like calling it trash instead of rubbish, and and, and you know stuff like that from from an English point of view, that that's it's quite. Tell Maska Dan has a right bargain booze, Gemma. <laughs> yeah, liquor store. Yeah, it's great. By right? the way, our, the the staff here. Um, we read reviews before we went, and you know we we researched this hotel. We we knew that we were going to stay here because it was it was going to be. Something that, you know, after our panels, we want to come have a bite to eat or relax yeah. or have meetings here. This is something that we really want to have, that comfortability, that that easy access to everything. I mean, we can literally just go down the elevator to three floors and that's we're where there, the, yeah. and we're there at the convention. Um, the, the staff here, I, I've never been treated better anywhere I've ever went. I've just spotted that as well. Um, Pablo says, Indie Geek will be live in 30 minutes, which is perfectly timed. So once we're finished up here, you can skip straight over to in deep geek it's a shame he couldn't have come i would have flown with him uh it's, people it's that couldn't shame. people that couldn't come au pack meal yeah there's a yeah. lot of people au pack meal wasn't able to come um that's a bummer we really smoke screen couldn't come in smoke the screen end, shout out to him unfortunately he heard he's very he, 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 he announced it to his fans uh his daughter has a really good opportunity for a scholarship to sports I mean, between you and me i didn't 
a crush on smoke screen, so I'm really bummed. He's taller than I am. He's, really he's a little bit more handsome. Uh, but, you know, uh, James, James from Dust on the Throne, uh, we're going to be at booth 114 in the marketplace. We're going to be selling Azora Hype t-shirts. I can show you guys just a little bit. There's a mound of t-shirts over there. Uh, there's about 200. Um, but James from Dust on the Throne is going to be hanging out with us. He's yeah. He's got a spot at our booth. And Blaze Manga, the artist who created the art of Azora. And Phil the Issues guy. Oh, That's Phil the Issues called. guy. And he's bringing his dog up because you can actually have yeah. animals at this hotel. So we're going to be meeting up with uh, George later. to go. To watch. We're going to watch Solo at 10 p.m. tonight. We need to have another drink. Oh, geez. Another drink? Cheers. What is the DNA percentage of the children of the forest in the reeds? 25%, 20%. I would 10%. like to give it a percentage, but I think it's quite clear that it's there. But, yeah. Just by their size and posture alone. Yeah, I mean. yeah, absolutely. And and they're, they're, the fact that they've got green sights and... Well, at least in the case of Jojen. I mean, we don't well, know we, we, we don't know that with Howland. It's, it's assumed that he didn't, but he was still able to be well, speak to trees. He had the connection with the Weirwoods. With the Kranach men in general, is we actually know hardly anything about the Kranach yeah. men, do we? But but uh, in the books, it's hinted at that you know um, Howland Reed trained with the Order of the Green Men on the Isle of the Faces. Yes. And uh, that possibly Blood Raven spoke to him through the trees. Um, John Haymaker, have you met any other YouTubers here? You met King McKay last night, didn't you? King McKay. <laughs> so me and Gemma went. So Gemma got in from England uh, around 5 p.m. Central Daylight Time. We took a cab back to the hotel. We had a bite to eat. Uh, had a few Coronas. We went back to the bar, had a couple more Coronas. Yeah. Gemma was out by 10.30 p.m. I was unconscious. I went all. back to the bar. <laughs> I went back to the bar and met someone that was attending Coronas this weekend, had a drink with that person. Then I had three or four more Coronas. And then I met a couple from New York that was heard us talking, heard me, uh, heard me talking to someone else about me doing YouTube full time. And then we talked about Infinity War for about an hour and a half. Uh, we talked about the, the next Avengers Four movie, and they started buying Patron shots. And then um, I got, I got, I got pretty wasted last night. And uh, apparently, I don't remember this, but apparently, I face, I, I, I walked into the room and face planted it here at two in the morning. Or like 1.30 in the morning. I, I walked into the room and I, I face planted in the room. I don't remember, but he fell in the door. I fell through is, the doorway, yeah. Which is why I woke him up at six o'clock. Because you know, he had it coming. Let's face it. <laughs> it woke me up. But yeah, um, so you met King McKay. Um, I said earlier on we just King had McKay a beer with Tony Tapper on that from New Zealand. That's a long way to come. I thought King I McKay's up from New Zealand that we want so if anyone hasn't checked out his channel, go subscribe. Um, <clears throat> who's I can't see the question now. Where is it? Uh, Debbie, Debbie, uh, do we know who Mira and Jojen's mother is? Um, uh, yes, the, I can't remember what her name it's is. A, a Yana, a Yana. Yeah, it's almost is, like the, Yana. It, it's very similar, yeah. Um, she's she's lady, so we don't know what family she was from prior to Some people think it's a Sheridan. Street. I think it's that's a completely shit theory. But. Yeah, no, he, he definitely does have a, a wife. Um, but like I said, like obviously like Catelyn Stark, for example, we know that originally she was House Tully. We, we don't even have that kind of detail about her. It's that they are so shrouded in mystery, House Reed. Uh, I, th I think that's the difference between the show and the books. Like we, we, we debate this all the time with better. Uh, I don't, I don't try to get into that debate because I enjoy both equally. They're both very different in how they use foreshadowing and characters and whatnot. But that, that's something that I really enjoy about the books is that there's always this element of mystery that yes. they're always searching <clears throat> for more. Yeah, and it's, it's like you, you're going hunting for clues, aren't you? Because like an Easter egg hunt. Yeah, absolutely. The red herrings. Uh, it's like the foreshadowing in the show is so visual. So if you hit someone over the head with it, they're going to know what it is. Yeah. So like people are like, oh, why didn't they re reveal hints about Rhaegar being John's dad? Really? Well, because they everybody would have known. They kind of did. <laughs> they kind of did. They kind of did. But, yeah. but 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 you know, in 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 that argument, um, yeah. books versus show. That's yeah. <clears throat> it, it's it's quite equal for me. But Gemma enjoys the books more. Yeah. I'm so excited, uh, Ashley Marie. I enjoy. I'm so excited for you to uh, drink for me later. We'll drink for you right now. Cheers. I don't think I don't I don't think there's a wrong answer on that specific topic. By the way, whether you like the books or the show more, I think there's. A, I mean, Oz from Watchers on the Wall. He's an unsullied. Yeah. He only yeah. watches the show. Yeah. And we were talking about this earlier. His viewpoints, even though he hasn't read the books, he's brilliant. Well, the thing is, like you know that I prefer the books, and and I am a self-proclaimed book snob. I love books. That I've got a degree in English literature and language. I've always liked books, but 
this whole sort of this snobbery that that the the books are better and that, that the show uh, show plebs and all of this rubbish. Plebs? Did you say plebs? That's what people are called. That's what I've seen people call people oh, show only watchers show plebs, and it just seems so unnecessarily derogative. Because let's face it, book readers, if it wasn't for the show. Game of Thrones would not have the scope and the reach. Wouldn't be the phenomenon. It does not, no, it wouldn't. It just simply wouldn't. I mean, yes, it would have its niche. It would have its place in in fantasy literature. But but the Game of Thrones and, and the cons that we go to and the fan base that it has, it came from the show. So you know that the book fans have a lot to Sherry. thank. I just spilled the, so he has, we, we, we need to thank the the show watchers and the show the show's fantastic you yeah, know it's, it's crazy because without without the exposure from the show you know i would have never i would have never read the books so when i exactly like uh when i first watched the show i watched all 10 episodes in one night and then i went and bought the books a week later yeah i read all the books and then i yeah. read and then i listened to the audiobooks three times and read, read the books three times over everyone's feeling me in the chat Thank you. Do appreciate that. Everyone's 141 really people busy. watching. Thank you. Um, really appreciate that. Book number. Okay, let's let's ask uh, George Yorman again. Another great point. Book three is the best book. I think so. I mean, book one is great too. You know, I like a Game of Thrones. I like the original book. I like Ned, it's it's like my 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 favorite POV ever is Ned. But I, I mean, yeah, it, it, my favorite POV is Jamie. Oh, uh, Jamie is a good yes, one too, it's, yes. especially in a storm of swords. Yes. But I love a Game of Thrones because it's like the Fellowship of the Ring almost, isn't it? It's this kind of, they're all kind of slowly getting split up and it's almost like once Ned's gone, it's like all the other stories have just started. So yeah, and and, and all the all the R plus L equals J, all the really heavy foreshadowing, that's, that's all in that first book. Which is crazy because I look back and I'm like, oh, Rhaegar's talked about it. And it's like that first hint of it, I'm like, oh, this guy's really I mean, and some of the flashbacks, you know, the, the Tower of Joy when Ned's in the Black Cells and when he has his fever dream and, and, and some of the, you know, those really famous scenes and memories that we have of historical events, Robert's Rebellion, and it's all in book one. I want to, so David Adams says, so damn, Kyle, you fell in love with Ned and lost him in the same night. That is correct. Oh, uh, no. Hashtag plow on. What I would love to see is, we got 109 likes right now. We have 146 people watching. If you're enjoying this, please like the video. Of course, um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, all the description in this video, Gemma's channel links, her Patreon, her Twitter, you can go check her out and go message Gemma. Hey, nice to meet you, Gemma. Finally, nice to see you in person with Kyle hanging out at Con Thrones. Uh, all my channel links are in the description of this video as well. Twitter, Facebook, you have a theory you'd like or a specific topic or whatever. Uh, you're coming to Con Thrones and you want to say, hey, description of this video as well i'm just looking for um the link to indie geeks live stream so you can jump straight across. yeah we'll, we'll, we'll grab that uh or someone or someone else uh, can and he's, he says um on twitter um answering your questions about how long read live in half an hour so let me just pull up this link and i'll slap it in the chat for we, you, you know Jim, we might go a little bit over um, but if anyone does want to go watch Indie Geek, he is going live at uh, 6 p.m. Central Daylight Time. So he will be going live in 20 minutes. But if, any, but if any of you do want to go watch Indie Geek, we're going to be going a little bit longer than 6 o'clock. We're going to be going another 15 minutes probably. But in, uh, Robert is a friend of mine and Gemma's. So, uh, yeah, I don't think it is a Westworld stream. Um, it, it, I think it's, it's a, it's I think a it's Howland Howland Reed. Reed one. Yeah, yeah Howland Reed, yeah. I'm sure we're checking out. It's uh, yeah, nine, nine minutes to go on who is Howland Reed and how has he been influencing events in Game of Thrones? So that he might be answering some of the questions that, that we were just discussing. So that would be good. What I would like everyone to do in chat is we always have 150 people here. Con of Thrones is here this weekend. Gemma, stop hitting me. Um, what are you most excited to see from us this weekend? Do you want to see more of kind of like the vlogs we've been doing? Like, you know, obviously I've been taking... Like my half, me we, trying to have breakfast. This <laughs> yeah, Gemma doesn't like the vlog. I'm like taking pictures of what we're eating. But... <laughs> Yeah, when we went and saw JFK Monument, uh, yeah. where he got shot, yeah. uh, the grassy knoll. You guys like that kind of stuff, like us in Dallas? Do you like more of uh, the walking through the hotel and the convention kind of thing? Do you want us to take selfies with cosplayers? Do you want to see more stuff in the panel? Are you excited to see the interviews? Are you excited to see uh, collaborations with other YouTubers? Let us know in the chat like what you're most excited about because we love hearing feedback, and not everyone always voices their opinion, what they really like. So. Uh, if you can let us know what you enjoyed the most, uh, we'll try to capture the most of that this weekend. 
Yeah, I've actually collabed with Robert before. Um, we, we've done quite a few things together, and, and I'm sure we will again in the future, uh, George, our girl. So, yeah, keep an eye out for that. Um, <laughs> I just want to read this one out from Karen Sugar Mummer of Hype. Yes, uh, I love you, but I'll dump you in a minute for our Howl and Tweed conversation. Karen, did you just actually say that? I'm actually offended. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, if you haven't subscribed to Indeed Geek, what are you doing? By the way, Robert is such a lovely person, so supportive. Um, Cosplay and other YouTuber chats. Yeah, you got it. That's going to be. He logs, collabs, and shots, pop a tab, brown baggins on grassy knolls, 24 hour live stream, Mr. Chairman. That's not happening. Uh, I th thanks for the suggestion, though. Cami, nice to meet you. Uh, thank you for welcoming, welcoming us to your hometown. Really appreciate that. Karen Sugar Mama of Hype, your new name is Epic Helen. Make Jin great again. They're they're a perfect pair of them too, by the way. They're they're a lot li alike, uh, Karen and Helen. Someone wants a frog eater. Just keep doing vlogs, okay? Everything. Every there's a lot of people that are saying everything. I, I'm the same way. Yeah, I'm surprised how many people on Facebook and Twitter have been. Liking our own <laughs> silly little vlogs because they, they are just it is just us hanging out basically <laughs> But it's so cool because we even if we've not replied to you or we, we, we sort of keep coming back to the hotel room Intermittently and we get on social yeah. media and, and sort of catch up with all the comments and things So keep them coming. We are reading them. We're really enjoying them. We kind of feel like We're kind of doing this with you guys, you know, because it's like this interactive experience. So uh yeah, keep keep them coming. Basically, we're really enjoying that. Um, drunk vlog next. Oh, that prince that wasn't promised. Funny, uh, Cersei has a question. Uh, can you repost it, or can I go back? Funny Cersei, I must have missed that one. We must. Funny Cersei, can you post the question again? We will definitely get that for you. The chat is quite uh, fast, and. Um, Obviously, we're dealing with trolls and stuff. But yeah, thank you for not feeding the trolls. We don't feed the trolls here. Um, how does it feel working together in person? It, it kind of feels really normal, doesn't it? It's really bizarre. Me, me and Gemma chat every day Yeah. Uh, on dual hand. Like, we call each other. Um, so, some days we don't talk. I mean, Gemma has a full a family. A full family. <laughs> Um, so me and me and Gemma chat on Google Hangouts aside from all the YouTube stuff. We talk talk about life, you know. Um, obviously, when I was hurting through my back, she was someone that was encouraging me to like, you know, uh, I lost forty five pounds and I was really sick. Gemma was super supportive, and George, of course, and other other people. We talk about life and stuff, though. I think there's like uh, we just genuinely get on about the same things in life, you know. Uh, I, I don't know Gemma, Gemma's family a ton, but I, I think her husband Rob and her kids are great. Her Gemma's kids like me. Uh, we're, we're, just, we're just really close friends, and we, we enjoy the same things in life. We have the same kind of values, um, even though I'm not vegan like Gemma. Like, we have the same kind of values about politics and treating people um, uh, the way you would like to be treated in life, uh, that kind of thing. And I think that's how we connected. Uh, and we we continue that obviously, and uh, meeting meeting Gemma in person. Like when we first met, it was it was it was like like we made a joke. We did. Yeah, Gemma Gemma was, Gemma was walking, and she was like wide eyed. She couldn't see me. I'm like, hi. <laughs> like, you was, you shouted, "Is that Gemma Stark?" Like, I said, "Is that Gemma Stark?" <laughs> I'm like, then I said ginger or something. I don't know. And then we hugged, and it just felt completely normal, although. It was a bit bizarre that you're actually a real life human being. Pete Easy's coming to the con too. I, oh, I, nice. I, me cool. and George didn't get to hang out with him in Atlanta. We were bummed about what that. What we're going to do is obviously at certain point, if for anybody that can make it, of course we're going to be like positioning and well, you know we'll either go to the bar or we'll be at our booth or whatever, and we'll put it on social media. We'll say, hey guys, we're basically here. We're going to be here for the next couple of hours or whatever. So you know. It'll give people the opportunity to come yeah. down and, and meet us and come and say hi. You know, if you do see us, obviously you're gonna have to appreciate we might not know what you look like because we have avatars, but feel free just come let, like if you have them. your live chat name, let us know your live yeah. chat name. Yeah. I have a pretty good memory for that. Gemma, not so much. Um I'm good at names if I have a face, but often it's it's avatars and, and it can be different. Just come and tell us. We are gonna be doing us. the giveaway very soon yes. for the prints. Yeah, yeah. 
um, and we're giving away a Bla Blaze Manga art. So we're pretty stoked about that. What are you laughing at, Gemma? Um, Gemma, have you tried real barbecue while you're in Texas? I know you're a vegan, but it's worth a try. No. <laughs> so today, we, so today, for all of you that don't know, uh, I did I did a video about a week back. I said huge announcement, channel news, new giveaways, and Blaze Manga, the people who created the channel art on this channel. Oh, we got another donation. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Um, Blaze Manga, those uh, we got a new intro too, which is which is fire. But Blaze Manga, we're going to be doing two giveaways a month, and what they're going to be doing is prints. So basically, um, you know, they're going to be doing predictions for Game of Thrones season eight. They, they've done. Um, uh, we don't have them in here in front of us because they're getting here tomorrow morning. But they've done a drawings of Ghost yeah, and John, John and so Ghost good. and Daenerys going into battle, and then yeah. the Night King and Viserion winning. And it's all manga art, so very like much like a Dragon Ball Z esque, yeah. and they're cell shaded. So yeah. they're like outlined dark, but like it's very colorful. They're, they're beautiful. They're so good, and they're fun as well. They're actually fun. Um, but I think I think uh, you know there there was a lot of people that entered the giveaway, mm -hmm. um, and we will announce that in about fifteen minutes or so. Oh no! Announce it now. Want to announce it now? Yeah, do it. No, we'll wait a couple more minutes. We're gonna answer some more questions. Gemma, you want to pick a couple questions um, in the chat? Kelly Lawsman, hi Kelly. Um, do we know of any other named houses in the Cranogs? Uh, off the top of my head, no, I don't think. No, we do. I think there's House Mud. I'm sure there's a couple, but again, we literally don't know any of them. That they're, they're so. They, they keep to themselves basically and they, they do this sort of guerrilla warfare thing in the neck that they do and they guard it but yeah um and then they use it, it, it's hinted at that howland was using some sort of magic it's just hinted at yeah yeah so that's pretty interesting um courtney massa see you all tomorrow i am hyped see, Cor courtney, courtney massa was courtney by the way courtney massa was the winner of the conference tickets giveaway oh awesome so we're really excited um, to see Courtney. This is one for you, Kyle, at Azora Hype. The question was, what if Bran and Sam tell John who's Aegon, but they decide not to tell anyone? Maybe so so John, so John, Bran, and Sam will have the secret between them? So so Sam and Bran tell John, so John knows the truth, but then they all between them, yeah, decide we're going to keep that one on the down low. I, I, I think that's impossible because people like Davos and Tyrion are quite aware of what's going on. Um, and, and Tyrion knows. Yeah. I think Tyrion knows, maybe. Do you think? I think so. How? I just think he knows, or he's gonna find out. I actually think I have this theory. I'm gonna I'm gonna drop this on you guys now. I, I've talked about it actually before in live streams. Body, mind, and spirit. Things happen in threes, mm -hmm. and you, you know, um, body. Helen Reed was there in body. Yeah. Mind. Samuel found it from tomes in the okay. Citadel. and then spirit. Brand. Brand was there in spirit. So it takes three people to confirm. John's parentage. Okay. I don't know if they're going to do Howland Reed in the show, though. That's kind of worrying me. Well, we know Howland Reed is definitely turning up in the books at some point. George R. R. Martin has confirmed that. I mean, obviously, we saw him briefly in a flashback on the television show. So technically, we have had Howland Reed on the show already. Um, but yeah, I know what you mean. Obviously, you mean like, is he going to. Gemma, flash giveaway. The winner of the giveaway is Mia Isofire. Yay! Mia. You let me know your information. Mia, we're going to get those prints for you. We can even like get them framed for your wall or something like that. Mia has won the giveaway, but we'll continue. i got to go for another pee. I broke my seal. What happens in Winterfell stays in Winterfell. Let me have a look at these comments. Mia, I saw fire. You won the giveaway. Um, as soon as she's, she has a... Uh, what about the rest of Westeros, though? They might not accept Sam and Bran's info. Exactly, Georgia. And that's why I think it has to be Howland Reed, salt in drink. There is no salt here. I mean, yeah, I've got, I've got nothing. I've got nothing. Hey, <laughs> um, may I write some fire? Congratulations. What? I actually won something for once. Um, you mean vegan barbecues when the sun shines on the lawn, vegan barbecues? <laughs> you know, actually, um, believe it or not, Texas is really good at catering for vegans. Um, I am better catered for here than I am at home. Um, I've had a, a full breakfast. Um, we're going out for we, we're going out for a meal later on tonight. We're going out for a meal on Saturday for my birthday, and that is an all vegan restaurant. So, so yeah, it's been great. But I, I like to keep it fairly on the down low, but 
But Kyle's just been announcing to everybody that I'm a, a vegan from the UK, which is hilarious. Um, uh, the chat is so fast. Do you think the Northmen will betray John after learning about his heritage and his relationship with Danny? Maybe. Um, yeah, I mean, I, d I don't know. I don't know how that's going to go down. I, I think um, there's, I think they've set up, obviously, the potential of foreshadowing for there being tension. I mean, we saw all of that meetings with the um, the North Northern Lords and what have you and Sansa. Maybe... John will relinquish his title and have to pass it I mean, to Sansa. I mean, I only see that at the end of the story, maybe. Like, you know, if John has lost an heir or something like that, and he yeah. has a kid, you know, maybe he wants a normal life for his kid or something like that. I don't, I don't, I, I mean, I think that a lot of people are hating on Sansa. Tom ask it is. You would not believe what they've been suggesting I put in your bio while you were gone. <laughs> Salt and the Strangler. <laughs> you guys are dicks. <laughs> I don't have any of the strangler. Hand Cheers, I'm strangler. drinking the strangler. Fuck it, I don't care. <laughs> Demonetization, whatever. It's your turn. It's your turn to answer some questions. <laughs> Question. Um, we've already answered that one, the prince that was promised. Oh, cheers, Devi. Slante. Cheers, I don't know if I said that correctly. Uh, Mama Ogre, what do you think about the Lord of the Rings TV show? I'm really excited for that. I'm going to cover it. Uh, yeah, I'm... I'm excited. We'll, it's about we'll young Aragorn. We'll it's about young Aragorn. Yeah. I'm going to be covering on this channel. I'm always apprehensive when I see somebody doing something that I cherish. And, but I think that's, you know, but I, I was very pleasantly surprised with Game of Thrones, obviously. I was nervous. I'm, my, my overwhelming thought was, how in the hell are they going to do the, the that? The budget's $200 million per season. To put that in perspective, Game of Thrones season 8 has $130 million, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is... 70 million above Game of Thrones season 8, which is ridiculous. Hashtag Sansa forever. Let's get a hashtag Sansa hashtag forever. Sansa forever. Actually, you know what I would really love is I haven't seen people spam the hype and love emojis in chat. We got 160 people here. They almost. did earlier on. I know I that, but I think it's time again. We're getting kind of towards the end there. Yeah, because Indeed Geek is on in a few minutes, and we're probably going to lose a lot of people because we're just sort of chilling, and he's got some like, actual inter intelligent content to shoot. <laughs> we're just chilling in Dallas. <laughs> did you know Indeed Geek did his first ever live stream with me? Yes, I do know that. Yeah. And uh, me, me and Robert talk all the time, too. I, I love Robert. He's a really nice guy. That's someone that we talk with a lot, too. Yes. Talk with Raised the Owl a lot. Um, there's so many really on honestly there's there's you know everybody has different opinions but that doesn't mean you should yeah, hate on them if you if you don't like their, their theories there's lots of great videos up there there they they come Jesse there's you know I, 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 I like that Jesse knows emoji that, that that's the one I give to you all the time the rolling of the eyes it is it is and I just I've just been doing that to you a lot in person yeah <laughs> Much as I love Indie Geek, I'm sticking around with you We really appreciate it. We're not going to cross over too much. We don't want to, you know. Um, oh, by the way, Gemma, we haven't done a bonus content Patreon. No, we haven't because last week, obviously, we, we've we been very busy, obviously, getting prepared and stuff. So, yeah, um, keep, if you are a Patreon, um, keep an eye out because we are going to be posting just like little – we've already done it um, – Obviously, anyone that bloopers is a patron will know we've, we've posted a couple of bloopers on there. But all weekend will be posting a couple, a couple of days. So, yeah, well, obviously, we're posting a lot just for everybody on Facebook and Twitter. But, yeah, there is going to be a few little bonuses. But on uh, for, for those of you who aren't on Patreon, don't worry. There's going to be – yeah, we're going to have – we haven't even started the convention yet. And I've been updating uh, Instagram and Facebook and Twitter like 20 times a day. Yeah. So just think about it. We're going to get so much content for you guys. There might be a random impromptu live stream and stuff. A rambling drunk chat for Patreons. <laughs> we might just do that. Cheers. What I'll do is um, I will record me waking him up at 5 a.m. That will not happen. <laughs> he was so he, as I, as I, For anybody that's seen Avengers Infinity War, think about Drax and how he talks. That will not happen. <laughs> I'm basically Drax the Destroyer. Um, where is the next con of thrones? We, uh, we don't know. It's not being confirmed. They, they won't know until the end of summer. It'll be a couple months from now. But there is going to be another con of thrones. We got our first dislike. Oh my goodness, we've lasted that long. Uh, we, we did quite well, and considering all the trolls we had as well, and that's 
I'm quite proud of that. That's yeah. you know, as a ratio, that that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, oh, was that one not? <laughs> but I, I think you know we have 134 likes and 153 people watching. Uh, once again, uh, we thank. Everyone from the GoFundMe's earlier, every single person that donated to the GoFundMe, that's not everyone that just donated. Every single one of our patrons, I have 114, you have over 200 now? Yes, I do, yeah, yeah. So Jamis reached over 200. We, we talked, 212, I think. Was when we talked about doing our podcast in January, I think I was at 40 patrons and you were at uh, 70 or something like that. Something like that. So, yeah. Thank you so much, patrons uh, of the channel. You guys are extremely instrumental in you know helping us get new gear, coming to places like this, being able to do events like this. Um, everybody that's donated through the live chat, su super super helpful. Um, obviously, you know flights to Dallas from Canada and UK is not easy. It's hotel room, like a company place to stay on site, it's pretty expensive to stay on site. It's uh, but we really really appreciate all of your support. That has been. Uh, we we can't we can't even say in words what it really means to us honestly and I'm not just being cheesy it's you guys we we we, we achieved my GoFundMe twenty five thousand or twenty five hundred dollars Canadian out of twenty five hundred insane guys and Jamo got really close to her goal so but we do need to sign off soon because we need to go and meet YouTubers and meet celebrities and see the Jamo's a celebrity because. We want to get all that footage for you. So, like I said, if you're not already following us on um, Facebook or Twitter, Instagram, kind of, my Instagram is all over the place. Like, yeah, and, and what we're cross sharing. So, if you only do one of those, don't worry. You'll, you you know, you'll get it regardless of what you're on. So, make sure that you do follow us and and comment and like and and, and just sort of keep up the flow because it, it's been great. Like I said earlier on, it's kind of like we're all doing this together. So this is great. But yeah, we're gonna. Um, Gemma, Indeed, Geek's about to start, isn't he? Um, on my birthday's on all the Gemini's in the chat. So, guys, we're I think we're gonna we're gonna call it here. Indeed, Geek's got a stream. I know there's 160 of you watching this. Probably, Tell him we said hi from Dallas. Indeed, Geek, please go to his channel and go check him out. This isn't. I think we're probably gonna do one on, on at the exit on a throne stream, maybe. Yeah. Monday, we'll update you guys. I'll let you guys know on Twitter, or Facebook. Yeah, there'll be more to come. But uh, we got a, one more donation. One more drink. Cheers. But uh, everyone, and of course, happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, dear Gemma! Happy birthday to you! But uh, everyone, we really thank you for coming in today. We were thinking about this live stream and how excited we were to hang out with all you guys. It was really, really fun. We did get to all of your questions and comments. But thank you so much for joining us today. And, and there will uh, be more. Say hi to Robert for us. Yeah, go go to Indie Geek's live stream and tell him the hype and love family sends you regards. Well, you actually, you want to? No, you do it this time. Hype and love. <laughs>